Alright guys, what's going on? So, rise up! <laughs> rise up guys! Because Rise of the Ninja Turtles, or Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, let's not shorten it, shorten it here. Um, it is finally here, and what is finally, which feels like an eternity, is that the new action figures are actually here. The weird, I will say this is the weirdest uh, thing for me, because, so, the 2012 series ended, ended way back in November, by Christmas time, the toys was phased out of all the toy stores, except for Toys R Us. But then Toys R Us, rest in peace, Toys R Us, uh, went away. And like just so for the so for the majority of 2018, we just did not have Ninja Turtle action figures, like at any store. So finally, Ninja Turtle action figures have finally returned to the store shelves where they belong. I believe the last time we didn't have Ninja Turtle action figures on store shelves was after the 2007 movie. So, uh, just, you know, just happy to see Ninja Turtles uh, uh, come back. So, we're going to take a look at these new uh, Rise of the Turtle figures. There are, for action figure wise, there are a total of nine of them. We're only going to take a look at the main turtles because, you know, that's really the best ones, right? The, the turtles? <laughs> Alright, so, uh, before I go and, like, open them up and everything, I just want to kind of give a brief view of what I think about the packaging. Um, I love the vibrant colors on, uh, on the packages. Uh, they look really, they, they look really nice. So, just like uh, those action figures, each turtle they gets featured on their on their card on their action figure card. So as you see here, you know Donatello. We got Donatello like on the card, while Michelangelo has Michelangelo on the card. Really cool art. Uh, I, something I like about Raphael since like Raphael's so big, he kind of like takes up the whole uh, section over here. Now the other figures, the other five figures that are not turtles, just like. Just like 2012 and 2003 again, those figures, uh, they actually featured, like, just the group of the Turtles together. So, like, you know, the April is not going to have April um, featured on there, or Splinter, thankfully, won't have Splinter um, featured uh, uh, on there. Um, but, um, j but yeah, we've we seen that before, like I said, with the 2003 and the 2012 Nothing too new. Uh, something else I kind of want to add is uh, we have I haven't opened them yet, so I don't know. Oh, uh, I don't know how exactly it works, but we got uh, pizza points. Like I haven't pizza points like was out like in the '80s, the original turtles. And I remember in the back here you would have a little pizza icon. You just cut out and then you smith them in, and you got like just random things. Uh, okay, right here. Over here, this this Raphael has like four pizza points, so I'm guessing all the turtles are uh, four pizza points. Over here, down in the bottom, um, well, I know there's a insert in here. Hopefully, that insert will let us know what we can do with these points. But all right, um, just enough enough of the actual uh, packages themselves. Let's start opening these guys up. So. Normally, I would actually start with Leonardo because he's the leader, but in this uh, series, Raphael is the leader. And over here, we see, we're going to open up uh, Raphael as they label him the muscles. Uh, something I want to add is over to, so over here in the back here, we have like, you know, we got the character profile. Then we got like, you know, the little blurb uh, right here. The first thing they say is rise up, which... So, if you guys don't know, we're actually in Atlanta, and Atlanta, our NFL team, is the Falcons. So, every time I hear the word, rise up, I, um, that's our chant for our NFL team. So, I guess these Turtles, they are Falcons fans. And, sorry, Turtles, are, the Falcons aren't doing good this year. Yeah, I know. But, let's go ahead and open up Raphael. Uh, so, Raphael. The Muscles. As the biggest and oldest brother, Raph is the self-appointed leader of the group. He thinks he can use his fist to get himself out of any situation. While Raph's 
muscles are bigger than his brain, his heart is bigger than his muscles. Uh, and they let us know that he is a snapping turtle and his weapon is the tonfas. And so, all right. So if you guys have not seen the new series, um, all the turtles they have uh, changed uh, their their main weapons. Um, why? That's a great question. But so in this series, Raphael he loses his size and instead he gets uh, the tonfas. Now these are not. Just to let you guys know, this is not the first time Tom Fuss has appeared in Ninja Turtles. Um, Mikey actually had Tom Fuss in Ninja Turtles, the next mutation. And the reason why is because to make it... Uh, the reason why he had Tom Fuss in that series was to make the show international. Uh, they did not want to have nunchucks because nunchucks were banned in the UK. So, alrighty, so here we have, we have Raph, something I really like about these figures overall is that I love the colors of the figures, they actually uh, pop out really cool, like it looks just as vibrant and colorful just like the TV show, uh, like, and uh, I'm actually happy because they didn't kind of, they didn't really skimp on the back. Uh, and then the over, over here with Raphael, he's a snapping turtle. He has uh, spikes on his shells. Let's see. Alright, so yeah, he can turn his head. Really cool, really good like, articulation, actually, for, uh, for like, you know, just a uh, $10 figure, actually, to be honest. It's actually really cool. Uh, something I want to note is these uh, weapons. Um, well, let's just go ahead here. Uh, so, uh, weapons, I'm so used to hard plastic with weapons. These are a very soft plastic. In fact, like, this one, if you saw, like, when I kind of kind of got a little uh, bent. But let's go ahead and put his tonfas over here in his hands. His hands are kind of, like, shaped kind of weird, too. It's kind of... So let's... Oh, gosh, come on. I mean, it should go in here just fine. Like that. Because, you know, you hold tonfas this side down. He, he holds it this way in the actual show itself too. So, look at that. That's Raphael over there holding his tompas. Uh, all the turtles, they come with uh, the throwing stars. Uh, I'm just curious if they, that actually fits pretty good in his hand. Yeah, it fits really well in his hand. Uh, the throwing stars is actually a really, it's actually a harder plastic like what I'm used to, what weapons feel like. Uh, and let's go ahead and put his glowing fists over here. So if you guys have not seen the series yet, they, the turtles, hold on, I just, sorry. Uh, the, the turtles, when they get their weapons, they actually get these, they, they actually get to activate like these mystical powers with their weapons, but they right now don't know actually how to activate it, so they're just kind of playing by ear. What I like about these glowing fists is if you look here, he's actually holding the tompas, so uh, the fist just goes straight into his hands, like how they how they should, and then uh, like you know he has a tomp he has the tompas here, so it is like you know his fists are glowing red, and with the tompas already in his hand, just like the show, it looks really cool. Really like that. Stands pretty good. One last thing I want to do is that, so he has spaces on his shell over here. So his like, so his shell with the uh, holders, uh, they actually, uh, it has, it's also a soft plastic. It kind of like, you can just kind of snap it almost kind of in there. Um, I don't feel like it doesn't feel like it's going to like, break if you just keep doing this all the time especially with little kids I remember uh, uh, he, like if you go look at my old like Ninja Turtle sets with the uh, weapon holders uh, like especially Donatello like because all the, all the times I was putting his bow in the back on his back the, those belts had like snapped off just from that so they really like put this in kids minds that uh, kids kids of mind so it's actually really cool. Really good detail on on Raphael. We have his bandage over there. I'm just curious if we have 
Any, like, uh, cause in the show, yeah, okay. So in the show, he, okay, so we do have a band-aid, oh, you can hardly see it, we're gonna do a little close-up right here, but over here on his arm, he does have that little random other band-aid that's on his arm that he does on the show. It is not painted. Um, I had a feeling about that, because I've seen that, it's just in action figures in general, uh, but... What's good is, like, what is good is that he only has it on this side. He does not have it in this side because in the show, he only had it on this side. Um, oh, same thing over here. Band-Aid. Another Band-Aid on his leg. Uh, not painted. So, and just just only on just only on that side. So, you know, if you want to just get a little paint, kind of like paint that in there. Uh, you just need some, like, off-white uh, to match with it. But, pretty cool. Really like the way he looks. Let's go ahead. Put his flowing tonfas here. It's the muscle one, after all. Alright, so over here, we got Michelangelo, the wild card. Uh, so, over here, like, just, like, just like Raphael, we got back. Um, Michelangelo, the wild card. As the youngest turtle, Mikey has a wild, colorful personality. He is an artist and spends his time tagging the turtle's lair and his shell with graffiti. He's an eternal optimist and an absolute natural at ninjutsu. Uh, his species, he is a box turtle. Now, Mikey is the same species as all the other turtles we've seen in all the previous series. All the other turtles are different series species now, but Mikey's the same species as the other turtles that we're, we're used to. And his weapon is a, uh, I'm going to mispronounce it. All right, go ahead and make fun of me for it. Uh, Kusarai Fundu. Yeah, man, that's kind of hard to say. Oh, uh, you know what? I, I remember as a kid, I had a hard time saying uh, nunchaku, and that's why you call it uh, nunchucks. I mean, now they're just making kids, like, learn all these, like, strange Japanese words here. So let's go ahead and open them up. Now with Mikey, I'm expecting like Raph, like with Mikey actually especially more, uh, I'm expecting more uh, l like more paint details missing because in the in the series he's very colorful. He has like he has a smiley face on his one kneecap. He has uh, another design on the other uh, knee pad. He just says, okay, well, ah, that's okay. So this is something really cool. All right, so Mikey comes with these stickers. So, uh, like, and basically, and, oh, uh, the, oh, by the way, these are the pizza points. Um, but yeah, Mikey, he comes with these, he comes with these stickers. Um, and I'm curious if you can just, like, put it on a shell I'm um, actually kind of curious if the show will actually have them with like different uh, designs on them, but that's actually really cool. That's so like that's something since he is like the artist and he's the one with the he's the most colorful. You can make him even more colorful. If you guys collected the original uh, series toys, there was a toy uh, was called uh, Tattoo Man, and he actually came with stickers that you can put on his body. And that's what uh, these stickers for Michael and for Mikey actually uh, reminds me of. So let's go ahead, get you out of here, Mikey. Yeah. So like I double told Mikey, he is actually a lot smaller than Ref. Um, like right here, and that's actually what I wanted. Um, so one of my big complaints about the 2012 series was Slash. They released him, and Slash was actually smaller. Then the other turtles, when in the show, he was actually bigger than the rest. So I'm actually happy that we have uh, Mikey smaller. Now, because he is smaller, his articulation is not, like, he's actually a lot more stiff and not as great as uh, Raphael. Something I want to note is on the back, he is... His shell is not painted. He it's over here. It's a uh, yellow, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong about that because the show's still kind of new on me. Um, but uh, these little circle things, they probably have some weird 
animal term that I'm not an animal scientist here, but uh, but they're they're yellow in the show. Uh, I don't know if that's a species thing or that's a Mikey thing. So, uh, uh, but uh, it is missing that paint detail back here. Uh, something else I want to note is that. Um, you, you can't really move the, you can't really remove the belt, but if you kind of, just kind of, just kind of wedge it just a little, you can see that there isn't, where the little O kind of symbol is on the back, you can see that, like, they put some grooves in there to, for the belt. Like I said, you can't really remove the belt, but is this something that they did? And then over here in the shell, you see that there's also an indention here, um, but... He's still colorful like he is in the show. Uh, here's his like smiley uh, knee pad. Here's his like kind of like X'd out um, eyes uh, knee pad over here. Uh, like I said, there's no actual paint, paint detail on there. It's like just uh, like, you know, if you want to put like the black uh, in there or I believe there's some more color on his knee pad I have like you know it's like I can't I don't know right off the top of my head but let's see let's see can we get Mikey to stand good yep there we go all right so something Mikey comes with he co just like how Michelangelo should he comes with his uh, skateboard his skateboard actually has that little T uh, symbol that all the turtles have on their belts there's a little has a little uh, peg for his foot and there look at that skateboard in there all around all right, let's go ahead and get his weapons. So, unlike Raphael, uh, my, all of Mikey's weapons are that translucent color, like it's like that. His in the uh, in like that that mystic that mystic power mode that um, that the turtles are trying to uh, are trying to get to. Like I said. We're still in the beginning of the series. Uh, right now with the turtles, uh, they don't they actually don't know how to activate it. Uh, so we see them use it, but then like you see that they really don't know how to use it. So let's go ahead and look at his weapons over here. Now his weapons are more of a hard plastic, unlike Raphael. Where Raphael was a soft plastic, these are much these are is these are actually much harder. Now, the ironic part is is that like uh, it's like you know since his is a chain and it's supposed to be all uh, uh, supposed to be all flexible and that kind of stuff, I would I would expect that this was going to be more flexible than that one, but than the Tomfas. But that's the way they chose it. Now, I thought one of was going to be the, just the normal uh, Kusari Fundu, Fundo, however you pronounce that word. I'm gonna watch this. Uh, I, I'm gonna like get Japanese lessons from this show now. Um, but it's not. This one is like over here. This is the one where it has the blades. Like when he goes out and like I know when he he throws it like and it he gets to the mystic mode. Like it will have like blades that come out and go uh, catch on fire. And it's still like that translucent orange. And then this one's a boxing glove, which. I have we have not seen in the series yet, uh, so uh, so apparently we're gonna see it hope go into a boxing glove or it might be be a playmates kind of thing, and then over here we have like this um, three segment nunchaku kind of thing, and I'm guessing like they, they did this mode because everyone knows Michelangelo for the nunchucks, uh, so uh, and that's prop and we're probably gonna see this mode in the show itself. Oh, Michael! So, Michelangelo does have a uh, place he can hold it right there. Now, I'm just like just the, because of the way it is, it just looks weird because of the chain and everything. So I guess I guess it's probably like the probably the most normal way I would say to put it. Um, or let's see if you put it this like let's see, put it this way. Yeah, oh, oh, well, over there it looks like it's going to cut his leg. Uh, and then if we put it like this, it kind of looks like it's just going to hit people with it. Oh, uh, so, oh, is this kind of a weird, 
I guess probably the best way to do it. Actually, you know what? The best way to do it is probably like this way. So you just see the handle and the actual weapon itself. And the actual weapon itself is kind of away from it. I guess that's the best way to uh, to do it. And if we do this thing, it's just weird. Like, I, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that. Let's see, let's see. Uh, his, his hands... His hands so much smaller than Raphael's. Raphael had huge hands. Just, he has a lot smaller hands. But here we go. And then go ahead and put what we we have actually seen in the show. Now in the show, this chain is like like silly long over here, obviously for toy wise, and uh, they made it much uh, shorter. You can see he's like throwing it out there. It would have been nice instead of it would have been nice before Michelangelo instead of a boxing glove one if we just got one that was a solid color like the Tom, like Raphael's Tomfa just a solid color so we can actually put like something here and just like just the normal just like the normal actual uh, ball kind of thing that's in there before it goes into mystic mode just so we can have just something in here. To actually like you know put on his belt and everything so and let's go ahead and see how well the throwing stars fit in his hand they fit just fine wow. here we go we got Leonardo not the leader anymore no now he is the trickster that's the one thing I'm still trying to get used to with this series uh, to be honest is that uh, Leo like in all the other series and comics and media movies he's always been known as the leader and this series just kind of took that title away from him uh for some reason we still have like we still have Raphael and we see like Raphael has his like anger thing but like the one characteristic Leonardo has is gone <laughs> um but all right Leonardo the trickster Leo is intelligent and quick-witted. He uses his sharp skills to beat opponents, find shortcuts around obstacles, and always knows a perfect time to land one of his mini one-liners. And he is, his species is a red-eared slider. That's why he has these red kind of like slashes uh, over his eyes, just because that's what those uh, turtles look like. And his weapon is a Odachi sword. So no more katanas. He only has he has a single Odachi uh, sword. Something I like about uh, Leonardo in the series is that he's played by Ben uh, Schwartzman, who is hilarious. I actually really liked him in the TV series Parks and Recreation. And something also funny is that, so the DuckTales reboot, he is actually uh, the voice of Dewey in that series. So so not only is he like the, the, blue, the blue duck in DuckTales, he's the blue turtle and Ninja Turtles. Now, now he just needs to go and voice uh, Simon from Alvin the Chipmunks. Then, and then all of our uh, blue childhood cartoon uh, voices would be voiced by him. Fortunately, I saw the sword kind of bent in there like before I even opened it up. So one of these throwing stars is kind of like right behind this uh, little cardboard thing with Leonardo's name. So it's. Kind of look like, you know, if you want to preserve the package, you kind of got to do it carefully. Or, if you know, if you don't care, you can just rip it off. Uh, so, alrighty. So, just like Michelangelo, over here in the back of his shell is not painted. Uh, so, like, he also has, like, kind of the same design that, that Michelangelo has. I believe his is a different color. I want to say his is red. I'm not 100%. Don't like quote me on that. Uh, as for articulation, it's pretty much the same as Mikey. He is. Let's look at Mikey. They are pretty much the same size. Mikey's just a little bit smaller. So over here we have the holder for his sword, which kind of goes there. Um, unfortunately, with the with the handle. Um, it kind of like kind of juts it out. I mean, we could put it like that, but that's just. I mean that that like goes in there better, but that looks weird. Um, maybe or that like you know there's 
Yeah, like... Yeah, just, uh, unfortunately with his... Unfortunately with his sword with the handle, just, um... There's no real good, like, way to actually make it, like, great. And, uh, me personally, I think what they should have done is they should have, like, maybe... You know what? You know what we could do instead? We could do something like that. And that works a little better. And it's probably more show accurate. I have to, I have to, I have to check with that. But here we go. It's, here's Leonardo hold, holding his Odachi sword. Yeah, yeah. Then he's gonna go hold it like this and like you know make make, make a little uh, lame kind of little uh, joke like he does. Now his other sword, which is huge. Look at this. This is like when it's in its, uh, when it's in its like uh, mystic powered mode and everything. Um, and then like you know he cuts, he cuts through. He makes like a uh, portal and he could like warp anywhere or he like or like he did in the first episode. He just endlessly just falls through uh, constantly. Now what we also have, we also have a skateboard. What's Something I want to note about the skateboard is that it's also translucent. It's also that translucent blue. So I guess maybe maybe the skateboard's from his mystic power, maybe? Or they just wanted to do another mystic blue. I'm not sure if the skateboard's supposed to be that it's the from his mystic uh, powers, like his sword automatically transforms into this uh, skateboard, or just the fact that Playmates just wanted to give each turtle two clear uh, weapons uh, in their accessory in, in their accessories. So, shh. Got Leonardo over here with his skateboard, and he holds his Ninja Throne Star just fine. And finally, we got Donatello. The Tech Wiz, which this from all the from all the subtitles that they gave each turtle, this is the one that we could like that you definitely think of when you think of the word Donatello from any series. Uh, so Donatello, the Tech Wiz. Donnie is the coolest Tech Wiz ever. I did not write that; they wrote that right here. You can check me. Uh, Donnie is the coolest Tech Wiz ever. Being a soft-shell turtle may be a drawback in the ninja world, but with the, with his series of battle shells and transforming bow staff, Donnie can take on any foe. Species is a soft-shell turtle. Weapons is a tech bow staff. So, in the show, Donnie's the only one that does not have a mystic weapon. He, they instead, at the beginning of the episode, he's like, hey, I made, I made myself a tech bow. And then... When the turtles they get their original weapons, like uh, destroyed, Donatello, uh, you know, he kept his weapon because you know we wanted to make sure that he got his new toy. We didn't want to lose that toy. But I did like how in the show they did they do show like a hint of like, hey, here's a mystic weapon for you, and he's like, nah, nah, I don't want that. <laughs> All right, here we have Donatello. Uh, like he has his like uh, his like screen kind of thing on his uh, left wrist like you know we first saw this in the uh, 2014 movie and I guess like we're gonna probably see Donatello with more with this I think this is gonna be like a permanent thing with Donatello now because that's what they think that's what they think of uh, with Donatello and alright ha huh, that's actually really cool so this is his uh, tech shell it's not a backpack I learned this from the comments section uh, that, like, you know, I think that's the only thing um, people actually probably remember me by now. Um, but his actual tech shell actually comes off. That's actually a really cool feature I was not expecting because uh, I just assumed that, like, it was just going to be molded on. So that's actually really neat. Now, in the show, we have seen him go through different tech shells it would be cool if we got like a pack of like hey here's other tech shells for Donnie Tell for Donatello by our luck what they'll probably what playmates will probably do is like we'll have another Donatello with another shell that we have to pay uh, 10 bucks for 
and but in reality we can just take the shell off and replace it. Here we go, we have his uh, T-Drone, I believe that's what they call it, uh, don't quote me on this. Um, I'm still learning just as you guys are, uh, but over here it clips right onto his uh, shell. And um, it kind of looks like, from the back here, it kind of looks like that some, we can probably clip something else over there, maybe in the future, maybe not, we'll find out. And then it's kind of hard to take off after that. Uh, Paint-wise, the only thing I really notice that's not there is uh, his goggles over here. It, do they don't, it doesn't have the red and blue colors that we see in the show. That's really the only thing I really see missing just off top of my... Just from just looking at him. Looking at him. Now, something else he does not have at all. We don't have a way to put his bow on him. Um, it just there's no holder for him, unlike the other turtles who all had. Just making sure that it's not hiding anywhere. Um, but yeah, unlike all the other turtles that actually had a, a place for them to um, hold their weapons, uh, Donatello does not. In the show, I'm pretty sure this thing, like if I remember correctly, this thing like shrinks down and he puts it in, in like. He puts it in some weird place. I could be wrong, um, but I think that's what happens in the new series. But here is here is Donatello's tech bow staff, and over here at the this end is like that little egg beater kind of looking thing. Uh, now Donatello doesn't really securely hold it that well, unfortunately, just because of the way his hands are shaped. But it's well, it's good enough. It's just that if you just keep whacking it, it's going to fall off. But, and then over here, we got his, like, so, his weapon doesn't go mystic. Uh, now, in the show, we do see at one point, he gets a crystal, so maybe he will get mystic powers. We haven't seen that, actually, in the show yet. But over here, he's just kind of spinning it around it has like that cool it actually has a pretty cool effect it's the same yeah see yeah it's a little bigger than that one but it, um it, over here it just looks like it's he's just twirling around real fast now me personally i would have liked this one better if instead of it have it instead of it being twirled real fast if like if this side had a rocket and that side had a rocket um, just like how he did, how it, how it tra transforms into the show, that would actually be, uh, pretty cool. There's no way to put the drone on his shell, like, vertically, like we see in the show, like, especially in the first episode when he, f he flies April with it. But, like I said, we can put it on his back, and then when he, when he needs it to fly, just attach it out without taking the whole shell out. There we go. And just like the other three, here we are. Here are the four turtles in action, ready to battle. Not really battle, but just kind of uh, trip around and just go around the city and try to do weird things. Um, uh, overall, I actually really I love how vibrant these figures are. I like that, like, you know, just like the 2012 series, all of them have, like, their unique color uh, that they have in the show. I like that they actually have the pupils on their eyes, uh, mainly because, like, I remember when 2012 series um, action figures came out, they came, they originally came pupilless, and they they made it like their eyes were like too small to put the pupils. I like that they made it much bigger, especially the way that this show is. That, like, we really see the expression that each of them have. They, these really look like they're leaping from the actual uh, TV show themselves. Other than a few missing paint details, uh, like, you know, um, especially with Mikey and Leo, I kind of wish the back was uh, uh, was painted uh, and then Raph, Raph is missing a couple of band-aid 
made it uh, painted in there. What's weird for me is, is especially since he was the first one I opened, Raph had these super soft weapons and everyone else has like not the soft weapons but they actually have the hard plastic weapons which kind of like threw me off um just a little uh i'm i'm really surprised Dantel shell can come off uh the only thing is that uh, sometimes when i was like messing around with him it was coming off a little too much but overall really cool and like oh something else i want to add i actually really like the size of the figures um i was actually worried i was worried that we were going to get like raphael i was worried that we we're going to get raphael being the same size as the other turtles like i was really worried that raphael and michelangelo were going to be the same size because michelangelo is the smallest and raphael's the biggest but they really did a good job on making sure to make each turtle size accurate oh um, we even have a cool little flyer over here and we can see what other toys um, are out there or is this gonna come our way over here you know we got the vehicles we got the, over here we got like the weapons and the things for the kids and everything uh, we even got like the flipping turtles so that's that's pretty cool and then over here we also have like uh, what we can do with the pizza points and I'll go online and see what cool things we can get for the pizza points overall I actually really like uh, these figures uh, I think they did an excellent job on these figures uh, to be honest, I think this was a better start with the action figures than the 2012 action figures when they started. Oh, they just, it just looks like the show. I uh, like, and I actually really uh, like, uh, like that um, about it. Uh, like, let me know, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the action figures. Uh, let me know um, if you're planning to pick these up or if you're not planning to pick them up. Let me know if you've seen the show. Let me see. Let me know like what you guys think. I already know what a lot of other people think, and I know it's not that great. Uh, but uh, let me know if you're planning to pick these up. Let me know if you're planning to pick up all nine figures, or if you're going with these. If you're planning to pick up Splinter, because Splinter looks really bad. I uh, he just looks bad. Um, that's my personal opinion. Um, but. If you guys think he looks great, let me know. I want to know that too. All right. Till next time, guys. See ya. Well, has two uh, translucent, two translucent. That Eric right now is gonna put like the time code right, like at this like time code right here, and and like mention that I can't say the word uh, translucent, translucent. You know that word. I'm clear, clear. Thank <laughs> you.